Hi, I'm Scotty. Thanks for dropping by Scotty's Clock World. Today we're shooting the fourth video in the series of our Japanese 40 hour clock. We've removed the movement from the clock, how to look at it. We've disassembled the movement and got it ready for cleaning. We've put it through the ultrasonic cleaner and today we're putting the movement back together to check on the bushings. These are the tools you'll need. The bushing press. Vernier calipers. Light hammer. Screwdriver. Brooches. That's a close-up of a brooch. It's a five-sided cutting tool that's used for reaming out bushes. Set of tools to use in the bushing machine. Pin vise. Pair of tweezers. In a box containing various sized bushes. These are the front and back plates I've put together. This is the escape wheel. We're going to check the pivots. See if we can get a better view here. That needs to be replaced. So does that side way too sloppy. Take the plates apart. I always mark which bush I'm working on so that you don't ream out the wrong one. That one there. Just check for the correct orientation. Now, first thing we do, we measure the diameter of the pivot. Set our caliper to zero. It's point nine five. Nine six of a mil. Place that face down in my phone box so I know which side we're working on. We write that down. 0 0.96. Now, over to our bushing assortment. We look at the numbers, we look on the front for a start. We're looking for 0.96 internal diameter, which is A there. So it's the first line. 0.95 is the number 41 bush. Number 42 bush is one mil, so it's too big. So we'll use the number 41 you'll notice there that the C diameter, which is the outside diameter, is 2.5 mil. So that is the cutting, so that's the cutting tool we'll be using for the final sized hole. Write all that data down. So we don't forget it or make a mistake. 
interestingly enough, working on a Japanese clock purely by coincidence. I'm using Japanese Iris Shizuku ink and the colour is Yamabuto and my fountain pen is a Twisby Eco with a 1.1 stub nib on it. Highly irrelevant, but it fits the topic. There's the colour of the ink. First thing we do is align the plate on our bushing tool and find the centre of the hole that we're going to bush, which is there. Then we move the support pieces in. That one's not going to touch too far away. So we'll have to support the plate while we're drilling it out. Remove the center finding tool. You'll remember the maximum diameter was 2.5 mil. And I've found over the years Instead of going directly into the 2.5 mil to cut it out, it's a lot of work. I go down two sizes and start with that, then move up to the next size and then final it off. This is 1.20. That's the first reamer that I will use. Slowly lower the reamer onto the hole support the plate and turn the handle at the top pressing lightly down these small reamers are very easily bent if you press too hard on them the next reamer is a 1.97 mil tighten that down Bring the handle down. Support the plate. And turn the handle. That's about the speed you want. Any more than that, you can bend the cutting tool. Keeping the plate in place so it doesn't move. From time to time lift the reamer, clean away the material that you've cut and start again. That's the second reamer. We now want the 2.50 size hole. And this reamer is 2.47. So that will make a nice tight fit when we hammer the bush into place. These things are super sharp. They work very, very efficiently. Now we'll put the hammer end on. We'll get our bush out of the box. Number 41. Here it is, that tiny little link. Take it out, turn it over, make sure the oil sink is facing out and place it on the hole we've just drilled. 
and then align it so it's approximately level. What we'll do now is we'll bring the top down and give it a light tap with our hammer and then have a look to make sure the bush is going into the hole. Yep. Undo the clamp, take the plate out, that's the new bush there, that's the oil sink on the outside of the plate. We'll now ream the bush out using our brooches. First we'll check to see which size brooch fits. It's that one there. It goes partially through on the outside. The rest is on the inside. We'll now put it into a pin vise and tighten it down. Check it once again to make sure it's the correct size. Before we start, we'll attempt to put the, the pivot into the hole. It doesn't fit. It needs to be reamed out. So everything is go. Now, when you're using brooches, you have to broach the hole 90 degrees in all angles. If it goes in at an angle, then your wheel won't spin. So you can use the legs here as a reference point to make this part here parallel to that. I'll take that out, put it back in again, and then slowly twist it three or four times, take it out, blow away any brass that's there, and check the wheel to see if it fits. That goes in. Okay. That'll fit alright. Now we'll do the top. Now we'll do the bush on the top plate. Then we'll put both plates together. And then we'll be able to see if our bushing setup is correct or not by how freely the wheel spins. Okay, I'll go and make those measurements again and write them down and then we'll do the top plate. Right, I've done the bushing on the top plate. We'll now put the two plates together and check the spin of the escape wheel. A little bit more light on the subject. Bring that in up to there. That's okay. Now let's have a look and see. It's spinning freely. You can see the end play on it. Both of those bushes are nice and tight now on the pivot. Okay, I'll now put the entire going train in and then we'll check it to make sure they all mesh properly. The top off. Third wheel goes there. The top on. 
Make sure that goes underneath. That one. That one. And that one. I'll put a nut on that to hold it in place so that the two plates don't spring apart. Okay. Pair of tweezers. First up, we'll put the second wheel in. That into place. That's better, it'll give us a better chance. He goes into there. Gently. Got him. Right. They're all in place now. Nope, one's dropped out. Dropped out before I could get a nut on the whole of the plate, so we'll pop them back in again. And that one, that's on. Put them plates there. Tighten that nut. Put another one on the top. Now we can look and see. Spins nicely. They all spin very freely. Got end play backwards and forwards. Very good. Right, I'll do the strike.